Hello, my name is Kathleen again and I want to welcome you here to the Improver course on irishconcertinolessons.com. This is a free sample lesson just to give you a little taste of what to expect here on the Improver course. So as you can see from the lesson page here, each lesson consists of a video and an audio, both of which you can slow down if you want to and you can loop a section as well, which is very handy if you just want to repeat one little phrase over and over again. There's also the notation, there's staff notation and ABC notation, and you can download that and print it off if you want to. And lastly, I give some tips on fingering and technique relative to that tune, as well as the story to the tune, the history behind the tune, anything we might know about it or where it came from. So I hope to welcome you soon to the website here. For this taster lesson, the tune I'm going to teach is The Rookery, which is a reel, and it's one of my favorite tunes. So let's get cracking on with that. So here's the first part of The Rookery. Here's what it sounds like. there on that A. Okay, so the cut is just after the G, you stick in a little B and back down with your A then. Okay, and you can check out the lesson on cuts here in the Improver course to learn all about cuts. So let's try it again. B, G, cut A, G, one, two. little finger D. The reason I'm using that D here is because I learned this tune from my dad. He plays the fiddle and he usually plays that phrase there all on one bow. He doesn't change direction for the D. So that's how I learned it. That's the phrasing I learned. So that's how I like to play it now. Of course on the concertina it means that you might run out of air. So usually I'm well prepared beforehand and you pull out the bellows before you start this phrase but of course if you're running out of air just switch to the other D third finger D okay better to keep the melody going than to run out of air okay so that last bit there was E G D G and twice play that twice one two Finish out the phrase, then it goes those notes E, G, D, E, G. Again. Okay, let's go back to the start of the phrase now and try and play the whole first phrase together. So it started with the B, G, cut A, G, and then to E. Okay, let's try that. One, two. Okay, that's the first phrase. Let's do it again. One, two. second phrase. Okay, so the first bit there is 
a long G. G, B, D. And I use the B, D on the right hand side there for that bit. G, B, D, pull. Okay, after that high D, I come over to high E on the left hand side, first finger, pull. And the next bit is. So those notes, E, G, D, G. And I'm just using my first fingers for those notes. E, G, D, push, G, one, two. Again, one, two. Okay. And we do that bit there twice. E, G, D, G. One, two. Well done. Let's go back to the start of the phrase from the G, B, D, E. One, two. Okay, from here, I go to the high E on the right hand side, E, D, B, A, and those first few notes on the right, E, so that's your push E, pull D, okay, let's go back to the start of the phrase now, G, B, D, one, two. Let's try it again. One, two. Okay, that's the second phrase done. Well done. And you'll notice there that we used both high E's there, the first finger on the left and the second finger on the right. And throughout this course, we try to get comfortable with both using both sides of the concertina, not relying on one side more than the other. So we're always chopping and changing like that. And that really helps your technique and your phrasing. Okay, so on to the third phrase now. We have started with a G roll. So a long G roll to start. Again. Again. And after that, A, B, A, B. From the G roll. One, two. Okay, after that, high D on the right. And then push in for a high E roll. Again. Do it again, this time with the high D at the start of it. D, E roll. One, two. Again, one, two. So that's a long high E roll. And check out the, the lesson on long rolls to practice those rolls there like that, the G roll and the E roll. So let's try it from the start of that phrase. G roll, A, B, A, B, D, E roll. One, two. Well done, let's do that again. One, two. Okay, after that then we pull out for the D. And then I come over to the left hand side for the high E. E, F, G. Okay, so from the high E roll. One, two. So let's try the whole third phrase now from the long G roll. One, two. Again. One, two. Okay, and then the fourth phrase. So the fourth 
fourth phrase starts A, B, high A. A, B, G, A, G, one, two. And then E, G, G. And I stick with the push E there on the right hand side. Okay, from the A, B. A, B, G, A, G, one, two. Again, one, two. And to finish it off, over, stay over on the right hand side. E, D, B, A. Okay, do that again. E, D, B, A, one, two. I come to the C natural on the left hand side, second finger, pull, and then B, G, G to finish. Okay, so from the E, D, B, A, one, two, and then C, pull, B, G, G, from the high E again, one, two, to the start of that fourth phrase high A and B A B G A G E G G one two again of the rockery. Now let's go over it just phrase by phrase. So back to the first phrase. If you want to listen the first time, finger it out and then play it along with me the second time. So we'll just do the first phrase first. Okay. G like this. Let's try that. One, two. Okay, on to the third phrase now. This is our long, the ones with our long rolls, long G roll. One, two. get it really into our heads and if you'd like to repeat any of those phrases you can just loop the section with that phrase in it and you can practice it over and over again so you just press loop start and loop end and you'll repeat that phrase or that section over and over again to help you practice okay so let's go for the first part of the rookery four times over nice and slow one two Okay, 
now. So here's what it sounds like. in grace notes on those long notes there so I do a grace note on the high B that first high B B D B one two and then the same on the high A grace note on the long high A okay so let's try the two of them together from the high B grace note one two Okay, let's try it again, this time with the high A link before the high B going into the part. One, two. Okay, and it's important, try not to rush those grace notes. I often hear when people are starting to do this, they might do rushing them, but you need to keep them nice and steady in the timing of the tune. So let's try it again together. One, two. Okay, if you'd like to practice the grace notes more, you can check out the lesson here on grace notes on the Improver course. One more time. One, two. Okay, next bit. So that's the same as the first bit. And then. A, G, E, D. Again. Okay, let's go from the start of the phrase now from the high A link. One, two. Again. One, two. just an important note to mention here that I wouldn't do those grace notes every single time sometimes I just hold the long notes other times I might hop off that first B okay so you can change it around sometimes do the grace notes and other times leave them out okay one more time first phrase from the A one two And you'll be glad to hear that the rest of the part you already know because it's the same as in the first part. first phrase of the second part, the high A. Okay, so let's try the second part now and we'll try it a few times over. Before we launch into it, that second phrase. So as I said before, sometimes you could put in a G grace note there. Other times I would just do G, A, B, D. I'd fill in the notes like that. So you have a few options there. You can play a long G. You could play a G grace note. 
or you could play G A B D. Okay, so let's try now the second part four times over. Okay, so from our high A and high B. One, two. done the whole tune done you might have heard there instead of a high a link into the second part sometimes i push instead i push a high g link okay so you can play around with that sometimes do a sometimes do g so i hope you enjoyed learning the rookery i would advise you now i suggest to go along to the audio track and play along with that as many times as you can to really get the tune into your into your head um, you can slow it down if you need to, which is fine. Uh, or you can speed it up, but not too fast, I hope. Um, so I hope you enjoyed learning that and I'll see you soon.